All right, so I've got a mixture problem here, and these can be really intimidating. Um, but what I want to share in this video is how we can set up a table to deal with these kind of problems. So let's look at this problem. First of all, we have a merchant that blends tea that sells for $3 a pound. All right, so there's this one kind of tea, and that's how much it costs. So I'm thinking, all right, we're looking at tea and cost. Let me start to set this up into a table. Now, when you set up a table, you want to identify all the categories of things you're dealing with. So in this problem, I already know one category. I know we've got this one kind of tea that's $3 right, per pound. That's one category. And as I scan the problem, I see that, okay, there's another kind of tea that sells for $2.50 a pound. Okay. And then finally, uh, what are we trying to do? We're mixing these teas to produce a 50-pound mixture that sells for $2.90 a pound. So I'm going to call that our mixture, our result. So often um, with these kind of problems, we identify the character uh, the characteristics of each category and write them down in a column. And then uh, within each category, we want to think about, well, how much do we have? In this case, we're dealing with pounds. And we want to think, well, what's the rate that we're dealing with? And then finally, what value would that give us? So uh, for $3 a pound, let's call that X. We don't know how much they have, but we know it's $3 for every pound. So the value is going to be the pounds times the rate. So three times x. It's three dollars for every pound we have. Here for two fifty a pound, we could introduce another variable. I'm just going to write fifty minus x because the mixture here we know has to be fifty pounds, and we know out of that fifty we have x pounds of three dollar a pound tea. So whatever remains, fifty minus x has got to be the other tea combination, right? If we have a fifty pound mixture of tea and forty pounds is this type of tea. The other 10 pounds, 50 minus 10, would be this category here. Now, the rate for the 250 a pound is 250. And the value would be the product of these two, 250 times 50 minus x. Now, the mixture, they tell us it's going to cost $2.90. So that's $2.90 times the size of the mixture. Right? It's $2.90 for each pound, in this case, 50 pounds. Now we can just put these things together, right? Um, essentially, we take our first value, the 3x here, and we add it to our second value. These are the, the combinations of the t's and their appropriate rates in pounds. And we know it's got to equal $2.90 for 50 pounds. So now we just kind of piece this together, right? Um, I'm feeling tired, so I'm going to use my calculator here. Um, all right, so we've got 2.5, 2 and a half times 50. All right, I can do that. 2 times 50 is 100. A half times 50 is 25, so that's 125. So we have 3x plus 125 minus 2.5x, and that equals 2.9 times 50. Well, 2.9 is one-tenth less than 3, so uh, 3 times um, 50 would be 150 minus a tenth of 50, which is 5, so that's, I think it's 145. But like I said, I actually am feeling tired, so I'm going to make sure I have that correct. Uh, 2.9 times 50, 145, yay. OK, so now uh, I'm just going to solve for x. 3x minus 2.5x is 0.5x. And then 145 minus 125 is just 20. We divide by a half. How many halves fit into 20? Well, that's um, two halves per whole. It's 40. OK. So that means we need 40 pounds of our $3 a pound tea, and then 10 pounds of 50 minus 40, the $2.50 uh, tea. And that would give us a tea mixture that costs $2.90 per pound. And incidentally, my example from earlier actually is the answer. Okay. All right. Hope this helps.